Hey, welcome to episode 6. In this video, we got the Jordan 23 black and golds, the Jordan 3 laser orange, Yeezy 350 Israfil, Nike Dunk Low Samba, and the Jordan 12 Indigos. And we also have Supreme Week 1. We got the Jordan 23s dropping in 15 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and start my tasks. Entry successful. Oh, I'm only going for a couple of sizes. I'm going for size 7, 11, 11 and a half, and a size 12. So it's looking like there is no size 7. All of these non winners. The Jordan 11 low basketball shoes restocked on finish line. So I went ahead and made a couple of tasks. Caught one. Caught. 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 I was able to get 12 checkouts for those Jordan 11 low basketball shoes. And I got completely filtered on sneakers. Alright, we got Supreme dropping in one minute. I'm gonna go ahead and start my tasks. 500 millisecond delay and retry. Bots didn't work on EU with the new Supreme Ticket system. Looks like we're getting an error so far. But that just could be because this site's not up. So it's now 11 a.m. Let's see how Supreme goes. There we go, checking out, processing some payments. Process and payment. Payment failed. Wow. The bots that did well for Supreme Week 1 was NSB, Velox, AK Autofill, Mango Prime, Kodai, and Toro. Congrats to any of you if you were using those bots and had success. So a little recap. Cyber didn't have any checkouts for Supreme Initial. Um, they tried their best with pushing updates. Nothing but payment failed on my end. So as far as week one goes, it was an L. I'll run restocks and see if I can probably hit some. But you know it happens, not that upset. Week one was alright. Hopefully week two is a bit better with the collab or something. But hope you guys had better success. Got two. So it looks like Antibot is now off and Cyber is working. So on Cyber, I'll be running JD Sports as well as Kith, Champs, Foot Locker, and Foot Action. I'm using Surge proxies for Foot Sites and I'll be using Oculus proxies for JD Sports. So it's now 10 a.m. and Kith has dropped. So this is the first time I've ever encountered this error. Um, I was solving my captures right here, fine, no problem at all. And then if you notice, some of my tasks are stuck on checkpoint, and they're not moving. So now if you look at my solvers, they're saying no internet connection, and I'm using proxies that I know work, and gmails that I know are good, so this was very weird to see. Interesting. Hope it's not my proxies. This is not looking good. Yeah, either my solver proxies died or something, but getting nothing but errors on kits. Rush is slowly starting tasks now. I'm waiting till all these tasks start to check because last time I crashed my rush I have no idea what happened to Kith either my proxies and my solvers were dead or but it looks like cyber worked for the drop so pro that was probably just something on my end guess I'm adding a cart waiting for restocks in queue on JD the rush is still starting up these tasks so I just want to jump in here this is after everything has happened while I'm editing the videos but if you see right here I'm running 7,000 tasks this is something I will never do again um 
I ate up so much data on my resi plans for doing this and it was taking forever to even start the task so I would not recommend you run 7,000 tasks there we go now my task has started nothing but card declines at the moment it's not something I want to see uh, Russia yo dev aka just said that the finish line is all going to decline so unless they push maybe like a hot fix or something yeah so waiting room has gone up for the easy Israel fields I have splash force that I'll be running as well as Polaris and Russia yo I'm gonna go ahead and start all my Polaris tasks so they're just gonna be waiting for special mode to be turned on perfect waiting for special mode Russia is telling us to start our tasks I'm gonna go ahead and start them I'm gonna go ahead and start all my tasks for Splash Force And Splash Force shouldn't be using any of these solvers right here. It should just be smooth and be going for checkouts. So for Rushio, you want to see your tasks that are in waiting room. Uh, this sensory endpoint is not good. I could stop these, but I'll just let them run. And I'm also going to try to go for as many pairs of these as possible. 4 through 13. Polaris is now turned on special mode. I'm waiting in queue. Um, they're saying, Russia AO is saying it's not working. So I just heard Splash Force pass one. It's gonna nearly be impossible. Splash Force pass two. Pass Splash right here. Let's see. I'll pass a good amount for Splash. Add in a cart, let's go. On submit and payment. Copped one. Let's go. Splash Force hit one already. Copped another one. Splash Force is now passing more. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably about to make more tasks on Splash Force right now. Copped another one. Yo, Splash Force is going ham right now. Copped another one. I'm not sure if we should be stopping and restarting our tasks every so often like we did. Um, the ones that check out, I will restart though. So those can go ahead and get right back in queue. Pass splash again. I don't even know where these come. Oh, copped on. What, what was that noise? The heck? Copped on Polaris. I'm gonna restart that as well so I can get as many as possible. Copped another one on Splash Force at the bottom. I'm just stuck submitting payment on this one. It's not trying to take my money. Uh, another submitting payment. I got three just stuck on submitting payment. I'm gonna let those run. Splash Force is still out here cooking. Copped another on Splash Force. Yeah, I'm gonna make more Splash Force. If we cooking like this, copped another. So if you wanna know how I'm not getting declined on Easy Supply, uh, maybe you're getting declines at this moment or after you watch this video. I recommend running privacy cards. Cop, cop. Splash Force is eating, yo. Not even gonna lie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve checkouts, eleven with Splash Force, and just only one with Pull. I got one with Phantom, and then like nine with Splash Force. But like, Wrong. I got one um, with Splash Force. But another one. Oh. Um, oh, now I'm starting to get declined. Cards are declining. I don't get it. I got another checkout on Privacy. Sheesh. Um, must. Polaris is doing nothing, yo. I'm stuck submitting shipping or submitting payment for six. Another one past splash. 
Love that sound, the little <laughs> water drop. <laughs> Rush AIO is, is trying to fix their windows. Oh, got another checkout. Rush AIO is trying to fix their um their easy supply module for Windows for make its instant payment decline, but um their Mac is working, but not many people have Mac, so mm -hmm. they need to fix that fairly quick. But it's Blast Wars, it's eating for me right now. I literally still only have one checkout for Polaris. Maybe it's the proxy, you think? It could be. Let me see if people are still hitting on Polaris. I'm starting. Oh, got it. Decline. Um, my Polaris tasks are just stuck. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, another success. I'm gonna go ahead and restart my Polaris task because people are hidden fairly easily and mine is just stuck. Maybe it's the proxies. Bro, how did I get declined on the fucking privacy? You bugger. Yeah, I got declined on privacy as well. An unauthorized merchant? You bugging? What the? Got another. This is a Yeezy Safari card. Oh my gosh. Oh, prepare? You know, maybe it's trying to cook. I think it's the proxies. Oh my god, yo, Splash Polaris just crashed. Rip. Oh, got another check. Which he told us not. To. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I just hit an ACL. About 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm fucking tired, bro. This one card. I thought I had it specifically for Yeezy Supply, but apparently it was used at fucking Google or some shit. Like Pass and more, nothing but failure, checkout decline, fraud, you know, the usual stuff for easy supply. Bro, that shit just got cooked, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have 15 emails from easy supply confirming my orders. Oh, checkout successful, that's successful checkout. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop splat. I think I've hit as many as I can on those cards, so I'm just gonna stop it, close it out. Alright, last time I ran Kith, something happened with all my capture solvers. I didn't really change anything, so let's hope that let's hope that, that does not happen again. I'm gonna just manual Kith with AK Auto so. Sounds like the move. Oh sneakers too, don't forget. Copped on this bay. Time to go for Kith. It's locked. Oh, yes. Waiting in queue. Submit an order for Kith. Payment declined. Looks like we're out of money. For the most part, most of these profiles are probably going to get card declined because we ran it. Easy supply. Oh, got to check out on Foot Locker. So I'm just going to close out of what bot. For Yeezy Supply, I was using Surge Proxies, Oculus Proxies, and Unknown Select Proxies. I was running Splash Force and Polaris. I got 17 checkouts on Splash Force and 2 checkouts on Polaris. If you're wondering how I did not get a lot of card declines or payment frauds, I was using a Yeezy Supply jig and I'll give you that jig that I was using in this video. I was using a random first and last name. A catch-all for my email, my real address with four random letters at the end of address one, random phone number, and my real area code. And I was using privacy cards with this jig. For the Jordan 12 Indigo, I was able to get 18 checkouts on foot sites using Cyber.